<laughs> yeah, now we're just showing off. Hey, then slow ride, slow ride, chest up. Oh, sh yeah. Fuck yeah. Slow. I know, I know, I know. You're the man. You're doing everything right. Milk it. Milk that. Talk that now, Eric. You will. <laughs> what is going on, YouTube Fitness family? We got the boys here. We got the RP Strength boys. So whenever I have them in town, it's a good time. These are some of the smartest guys in the fitness space. Debunking a lot of bullshit. So if you're not following their channel, it's probably one of the best, probably the best fitness YouTube channel. We got Jared Feather here, at IFBB Pro. We got Dr. Mike Rattel. Literally, IFBB team. no. <laughs> IFBB no. <laughs> almost, almost there. But, oh, uh, you know, both you are. I know how that feels. So. Uh, very excited to be training some chest and triceps today. They're going to be running me through a lot of cueing. So watch this video and look for the exercise selection, but also all of the tips they're going to be giving me for this specific exercise. So you can take some of these tips and run them in your other chest exercise or tricep exercises. So let's get some big ass titties in this video. Just and make sure you get a nice slow eccentric. And as the bar is coming down towards your chest, you're trying to raise your chest to the ceiling. So nice pause on the top of the chest. I had a lot of questions about hand positioning. What, like, do you guys have like a specific like thing that's right or is it more just like what feels first and foremost what does not hurt like what feels really good uh second of all hand positions can potentially target different muscles better so where you're at is a really good chest emphasize barbell incline press so if i get you can touch even higher on the pecs 100 percent that kind of crazy fucking that's nice yeah. you don't have to do your neck but your upper chest is upper real chest good. is perfect you can flare the elbows even a lot of people say you should tuck the elbows and everything on this. As long as you're controlling the eccentric, soft pausing on the chest, and you're not doing anything nuts, the injury risk is pretty low. This is where I feel probably the most chest right about here. Yeah, it's great. Personally, great. Here I'm getting still a lot of chest. I mean, it's just obviously super weird. Yeah, I'll just top of the clavicle is great. But here is where I get a little bit more front tricep delt. front delt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which you would, especially if you were closer gripped. So this to me, that far path feels really. Right Perfect. It and looks that's straight. how you determine your bar path right there. Big chest at the bottom. Arch your back and shoulders back. Really try to tuck your scaps away underneath you. How's that look? Yeah, good. Yeah, I kind of like that. I really like that upper chest bias. Here. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, I'm always trying to get as much stretch as possible. So kind of just playing around down here. I kind of like feel, I love feeling that in that stretch position, being very comfortable there. How, how important is like, like where you plant your feet. Just stability. That's the only the only reason a bodybuilder needs their feet on the ground is for stability. Trying to use a bunch of hip drive is a terrible idea. Just use the target musculature. How many will you go for here? Maybe feel warm will go up a little bit. I usually like 10 to 15 on my first. Excellent. Beautiful. You want to jump too? Were you, have you incline press for a while? It's been a bit. <laughs> Long time, but yeah. We'll it's been a while. Yeah, so we can jump two quarters. What do you What do you do on dumbbells? Honestly, we have not done those in a while either. I usually don't go above like 120. Okay, so like go to 225, see how it feels. Slow with your chest leading up to meet the bar. Meet the bar with the chest. Upper chest. Upper. More. More. Meet it. Meet it. Meet it. Meet it. Up. Slow. Big chest at the bottom. Yes, like that. Big chest. Right there. Big, big, big. Meet it, meet it, meet it. Two more. Big chest. Upper chest. Yep. Big chest. You crazy asshole. Big press. This guy's moving it laterally down there and shit, like it's a hundred pounds. Uh, another plate or 275? I think 275 would be safe. Uh, potentiation set of like three, and then we'll use this for work sets. Yep, how much rest? Until you feel ready to go, basically. Until the target muscle feels like it's going to be the limiting factor in the exercise and not like your cardiovascular system or any assisting musculature. So usually like two to three minutes for me. Unless we're trying, like at the end, we're going to do some metabolite work where we're doing intensity techniques. And that's when we did, like, we kind of did that whenever we trained together. Is there an ideal, in your eyes, like, ideal rest period? Just literally based on what I said, it's probably ideal, especially for working sets. Making sure the cardiovascular system is not the limiting factor, the assisting musculature is not the limiting factor, 
and you know the target musculature is going to be able to go to failure, like close to failure again. Outside of that, there's there's no such thing as ideal because like, what if you're doing an intensity technique? Well, now what's the ideal rest period? What if you're doing my rep sets and you're trying to get like four to five on the my rep pauses? So on work on like top sets and stuff like that, yeah, sure. I think there's make sure that all the things that we said, that checklist is good to go. The way I've explained it to people in my eyes, the bigger the movement and the longer the set duration, the longer you're gonna have to take recovery. So if I'm doing a leg press set. Unless you're doing some kind of intensity technique with it on purpose. Course. If yeah. you're like doing a drop set or like, or a back off set at the end, yeah. drop down from 10 plates to five. Yeah. Might be just the time it takes you to move the plates off is what your rest right. is. But yeah, for me, I'm just like, I don't. I never want my cardiovascular to be the limiting factor of why I can't. Lift no, but that's a really good like general frame of reference. Yeah, if it's a heavier compound lift and you're doing more, so more reps. That retraction first. Yeah. There. there it is. Tuck your traps down towards your ass and your ass up towards your traps. <laughs> one or two reps, just to potentiate. Oh, just yeah, just yeah, to yeah, potentiate. Maybe two or three. Yeah. Just like you're gonna do them for real. Reach your chest to the bar. Chest comes up as the bar comes down. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Soft balls. Press. Pause. Mid high chest, not quite that low. Right, right where Jared's pointing. A little higher than that, right there. There. That's perfect. Up. Rack. Like I don't want Eric to fucking crunch his larynx on my channel. Like probably top end, even though I haven't done it in a long time. I could probably do four plays, or at least a <coughs> with like not looking like that. Sure. So, and then what's the point, you know? For me, Showing off, for me, sure. Man. Yeah. So I think that's always been the key to my training is just like a lot like this, is really trying to feel it in that target muscle group, trying to improve my form as much as possible. And if the weight can go up, you don't want to be going so light that you're not even driving enough stimulus to Definitely. evoke a response, but it's a delicate balance, right? Sure. Because I think there's always that, the opposite side of this community of like, science-based lifting they're like oh well you just don't like to lift hard or lift heavy and that's why because you just want to like legitimize it with science like no who said that there's a lot of people plenty like, of science people. people there's a lot of people online that say there's like two camps they're on the there's opposite like, side he's talking like about there's like the sam Solix who's like just lift fucking hard if you lift hard not, enough not a real revelation sam but fine yeah and then there's the opposite side where people are a lot more of like lift with really good form oh, control okay, yeah. so there's like the two camps kind of fight with each other and the, and the people <laughs> I guess all right first work set here close to failure no explosions all smooth stuff nice soft balls on the top meet the bar with the chest Reach that chest up. Good. Up and back when you press. In an arc. So Mike promised me a BJ after this. Ooh. A, a blow job. <laughs> a blow ski. I've been in the football locker room a few times. I know how it works. We want this again? Huh? We want 275 again? One more time and then uh, down set uh, 225. The last one. Okay. So I saw you do this thing at the bottom of rep number six or five, where you went to your chest, your your neck and back, what was that all about? It's something I do a lot in my training, especially with chest. When I find that stretch position, my training a lot of time has become about staying as healthy as possible. So if I can be really, really strong in the bottom of my rep to the point where I can take 275, whatever weight I'm doing. So when I do dumbbell pressing too, I'll do, you'll see me kind of do some like kind of manipulations at the bottom of my rep because as we know the most hypertrophic position is in that stretch position so if i can kind of give myself different stimulus in the bottom and keep my tissue really long and healthy because i don't do it's very well known i don't do almost any mobility work no stretching outside of my lifts i use my lifting as an opportunity to keep my tissue as healthy as possible so if i can sit in that stretch position and be comfortable enough to take 275 and roll it up to my neck and back down to my chest. That to me is showing myself that I could take that tissue and use it athletically outside of the gym and not fucking slip walking my dog and tear my chest because it's so tight, you know what I mean? So that's the thought process. It's another intensity technique, right? So if I'm sitting at the bottom of my rep for three or four seconds and working through that upper range, going from like upper chest down to like right through that mid chest, 
for me it's just another way to increase the intensity without having to increase the weight. Big chest, meet the bar. There you go, way to big chest. Stay right in that position the whole meet time. The bar, meet the bar. Good hold at the bottom nice for a second. Boss. Nice soft boss. One second hold. Up. Yep. Hold. Up. Way to control. Hold. Up. One more. Big chest. Yep. Come on. Here. Slow. Slow. Wait. Big move. Press. Jesus Christ, what a fucking freak. God damn. Oh, fuck. All right, 225 for one final set. Cool. Big chest. There you go. Chest up. Yep, slow. Big chest. Yes, just like that. Look at that stretch going crazy. Good. Big chest, big chest, big chest. Good. Slow. Go, 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 lock it, there you go, good cool. stuff, Thank good job, he's cooked, I'm cooked, that's it, good job guys, right. see you guys, that's it, alright, all right, let's get you warmed up sir, but uh, probably 80s league said, something like that, yeah, whatever weight you think you're going to use for this, just get out and do for a few reps, if it feels good, we'll just get into work sets right after that, same setup, like you want a big arch, bigger traction, uh, just like a potentiation set, or you want for like a warm set? You said like ten. Potentiation. Yeah. Yep. Potentiation. Your chest is nice and warm. So really reach your chest up. There you go. And those dumbbells, they can touch. If these can touch your biceps, it's totally fine. I know you like that kind of shit. Yeah. There you go. Right there. Big open chest. Big chest. Just those more. Get all more, the way down to those more. biceps. Yeah. There you go. Your ass is so big, you decline press. Good enough. That was a great. Good. Press. Big push. Excellent. Push that chest up. Chest to the ceiling. Yeah. Chest up. Open, 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 yep, big yep, chest, yep, there yep. you go. Deep Come stretch, on, deeper. Let's go. Good, again. Yep. Go, go, go. Rack. That may be the hardest eight reps of 85 pounds anyone's ever flat pressed. <laughs> that's like the uh, most taking the weight and making it feel hard I've ever seen. Yeah, that's uh, 
That's my motto, but yeah, I felt taxing for sure. Aren't so. you worried about people looking at you and figuring <laughs> out that you're weak and yeah. then summarily bullying you after you leave the gym? 100%. Like, hey, little bitch, why don't you give me your wallet since I know you can't bench them, even the 90s. All the time. Honestly, I think that was something I used to worry about a lot. Yeah. And then I realized I'm just getting bigger than everybody. Okay. Accurate. <laughs> Very <laughs> accurate. I think obviously everybody treats that to the PEDs, but... Honestly, very little has changed about that, but what's really changed is my training style, and that's really helped me blow up my physique. Oh, yeah. And with no injuries. Yeah. A lot of times no, guys will say, when they're getting bigger and stronger, they kind of start fearing injury because they're like, well, I have to train like an explosive idiot. Big, big chest to the ceiling. Chest up. Yep. Deep stretch. Yep. Chest up. Big push. Good. Couple more here. Yep. Go. Go. Finish. Finish. Awesome. Uh, on the next set, mm -hmm. Eric, try uh, after you finish the concentric on the last rep, come down like you normally would, Got it. five second bottom stretch like you like, and then dump the dumbbells off at the bottom. That way you get an extra eccentric rep. I love it. I figured you of all people would be into that sort of thing. I'm into that whole maniacal. Stretch fetishist. Yeah, almost as much as I'm into Jared's calves. My God, they're just sexy. I feel feet of fish. They're pretty big. So diamondy. They're pretty yeah. big calves. Me? Yeah. Don't There's pay longer, pay you have longer insertions. Mine are just highly inserted. Yeah, that's what it is, Jared. That's the only thing. Yeah. They're big, too. I mean, like, hey, they're fucking big. They're man. fucking big, man. You don't like big calves? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck fuck you. you. Sorry, that's Philadelphia guy. He's my fucking out. calves. <laughs> hey, fucking two of you. fuck you. Good technique here. Remember that last one, too. Yeah. How could I forget? How could I forget about her? She was so long and eccentric. Mais non, she stressed me beyond my capacity. <laughs> And I loved her for it. Jared, remember your French romance? No. French Vietnamese romance? Maybe. <laughs> it's my dog. <laughs> so maybe. These white girls out of here. Fucking white girls out of my face. Yeah, you added Vietnamese to that. And he was like, okay. I get yes, yeah. fine. fine. I get probably, probably happened. All right, let's do it. Uh, Big chest. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Open, open, open. Yep. Beautiful. Big chest. Open up. Yes. Big chest. Phenomenal. Chest up. Fuck yeah. Finish strong. Open. Go there. Open. Finish. As if another. All the way down. Control it. Big chest. Control. Control. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Rack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we're just showing off. Good shit. <sighs> oh, dude. You guys got that eccentric. You got that extra eccentric. Woo! You guys got that pause at the bottom. 
He's got an extra pause at the bottom for y'all motherfuckers. Don't even try to play with Mr. Janicki. Cool. That was brutal. So good. Yeah, that was what I was explaining at the end of my Yeah, bus that was set. cool, man. I'll rotate it in, and I'll look it in so I can keep the impetus in the chest. I hold that fucking nice for good. Nice seconds. little pump going. Crazy. Like nothing you've ever felt, pump-wise. Excellent. So let's get rid of this and go do push down. So don't don't launch it with your body. When you're pushing down, Trust just it. use only your arms. There it is. What's our target like tempo, rep range? So you're gonna do a sum total of 80 repetitions. Okay. However many sets it takes you. One. So let's choose a weight. You can get about 20 on your first set. Kay. But I'd like for your tempo to be a little bit faster than usual. So up like this, down, up down just look control the eccentric just not for a ton and no pauses at the top just a quick reversal okay. and when you get a certain number of reps we'll let you rest five to ten seconds and then you're back at it hitting more reps okay. huge pump time sounds fair enough and eric is going to do a, a giant myo rep set it's a giant set done with myo reps so we have a certain number of reps to do that's 80 He's going to start with something like 20 reps, very close to failure. Five or ten seconds of rest, he's back at it again, and again, and again, until he gets 80 reps. This is going to be fucking brutal. I am glad I'm not him. Two. Four. Ten. No swinging. Eleven. Twelve. Fourteen. These are real good. Fifteen. Big chest. That's it, 35, very good. Very good, take a little break here, 10 to 20 seconds. You don't look pumped enough, bro. No. <laughs> I actually wasn't worried about the set at all, and I got like 30 reps in yeah. it. Yeah, these are fucking minute, brutal. 80 reps of a giant set is like top end of what I would give somebody. So you're gonna be pretty pumped. But the good news is that after this, we just do some dips and triceps are cooked. Yeah, that's great, need great news. <laughs> good luck with dips. Yeah. We'll hop up on there. All right, hit it again. We're at eight. We need 40 total. Three. Four. Great. Five. Seven. Big chest. Eight. Two more. Big chest the whole time. Nine. Slow. Control. Launch it. Slow control as if another. Elbows back. Elbows back. Elbows back. Rack. Oh. Ah. I, don't usually get, I don't usually get pissed training this thing. This one's pissing me off for some reason. That, that's comforting when a 295 foot, <laughs> 6 foot 2 man is upset at you. He's like, I don't, don't worry, fellas. This never happened to me before. But like, I'm, I'm fucking pissed. pissed. I'm like, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> the thing is, when we get pissed, always, it's always at myself. Just kidding, else. I don't ever run from shit. Sorry. Hey, say that shit again, Eric. Except the way I can hear you. Just kidding, is he getting over here? Don't come back until I finish these. Don't come back. <laughs> Why, what are you going to do? Push me hard? Let's go. <laughs> after, after this, I'll be able to be like, <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> All right, let's go, Eric. Right. 18 reps in, 22 left. Let's go. <laughs> Good technique only. Yeah, fuck Good. Off. Three. Big chest. Stop telling me I have a small chest, bro. Four. <laughs> Taking it all wrong, Captain. <laughs> Five. Six. Hold back, come on. Hold back. Yep. Seven. Oh. Finish one one good one. Yeah. Eight. And then slow ride. Slow ride. Chest up. Big stretch. Rack. <sighs> Fuck yeah. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Uh, 14 left. 14 left. Good stuff, man. Dude, your arms look ridiculous. Uh, how many reps? 14. 14. Let's, Let's get seven or eight. Seven. I think you got eight. Okay. Make the last couple easy. I'm going to let you down right here. Don't let me down. Okay. Jared already lets me down enough. I have enough children to let me down. Two. Make that concentric quick. Be athletic. You said not to explode. Three. You can accelerate if you don't explode. 
the nuance there. Mm -hmm. All right. Big chest, stay upright more. Here it is. What is that, six? No, seven. Seven. This is eight. Eight. Slow, 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 slow. Beautiful. Six left. Phenomenal work. Do you think you'll be able to do dips after this? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that shit. We got promises, bitch. homies. We got big promises. 295 pound promises. Promises are like ex girlfriends. Literally. I could claim to have have them, but nobody's ever seen them before. Uh -huh. And I say, oh, I used to date, what's her name? But you don't see me friends with her on Instagram. You don't see her checking my DMs. Maybe I never knew her. Maybe I made it all up. Maybe I've never been with a woman before, Eric. Does that offend you? You only around guys that get fucking mad pussy 24 seven like Jerry over here. Do you know why Jared's so pale, everybody? Why Jared's so pale? Cause he done jizzed his fucking brains out. The guy's half alive. He's like a fucking vampire with the shit. Well, ladies just don't I, leave I him alone. Never, I know where you're going with that. Yeah, oh yeah. Neither. To, to <laughs> see him. To, to ejaculate. You ready one last one? Yeah. They're Let's gonna do say it. that he's always inside fucking chicks, so he can't even see the sun. Also, also valid. Okay. He's in a fucking coffin fucking these hoes, you feel me? <laughs> yes. Dead bitches. <laughs> fucking Christ. Yeah, that story's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <shut up. laughs> Jared's like, shut up, Mike. I mean, yeah, okay, whatever, it's true, but whatever. Okay, fast, but not explosive, but athletic. And but not a but not aggressive yeah, but and not using momentum. Copy. Yeah, the more you're around them, the less you make sense, you know what I mean? <laughs> the more you're around, the less it makes sense. The more I'm around you, the less yeah, you make sense. 100%. You watch a couple YouTube videos and it all makes sense. Yeah. You gotta fucking deal with the guy. And then the lie comes in. Three more good ones, let's go. I think this is six. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Slow. Fuck yeah, my man. Deep stretch. Yep. Fuck yeah, one last one. And then follow that shit up with the longest fucking eccentric ever. All right, let's do a Janicki style. Do that shit you do. Elbows back. There it is. Elbows back. Stretch the fuck there out it is. Of Best it. in the world at the stretch shit. It. Stretch it. Fuck yeah. Let's get an extra stretch at the top too. Why the fuck not? Oh shit yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm sure glad I got his triceps. Good <sighs> stuff, man. Dude, I gotta say, folks, anybody listening, we're gonna name it right now. The fucking Janicki end of rep rep. We do that crazy slow eccentric and then that extra fucking bullshit gets my full seal of fucking the Janicki oh, technique. That shit is like you think your set is over oh, and then Eric Janicki that. teleports in <laughs> out of fucking nowhere with 24 inch arms and he's like, you better fucking do this last rep. Like, I'm going to kill you if you don't do it. And he's like, hey, Mr. Janicki. Oh, oh my God. And then someone reaches into my pocket. Shit. You like, you want, a, you want a deeper pocket? You little bitch. Fuck you. Folks, I'm going to tell you a story about how dips got their name. But before that, I'm going to tell you that we're going to be doing three sets of dips, straight sets, plenty of reps. Eric's triceps are essentially gone. They're pretty exhausted. 80 total repetitions of pushdowns. They're fucking dead. Because he is such a technician, he is going to stay upright. He's going to get his elbows really far back behind him. And then he is going to get ultra deep. This is a crazy shit. This 295 pound man doing dips after tricep work is just fucking unheard of. This is unreal. Everything is false here. Technique, everything. These guys are fucking spirit animal. Three sets, and then at the end, we might have a little bonus round for him. Don't tell him. A little intensifier technique. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, uh, yeah, how do dips uh, were named? Uh, fuck if I know. Let's go do some. Empty promises. That's what our channel is known for. All right, let's take this to concentric failure. Good technique every time. Training you is easy as fuck, Eric, so we don't have to cue hardly shit. You just do your thing. Visual ASMR. I know. I'm not even saying anything. It's just so sexy. Get you a spirit animal that can do like that. And all right. down, slow. Slow, as if another, elbows in, big chest. Yes, like that. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Rack. So I'm like here with my friend Jared Feather, and we're Hi. from like Girls Corner, and we just wanted to know like, like, how do you get your triceps like baby? Um, well, it starts with a really good pump. So a lot of electrolytes, oh. really good rest. Rest is super underappreciated. I need rest. Yeah, you can tell. So I would say just do like, get like a, like at least two more hours than you're getting right now. I can tell by the bags under your eyes, bitch. That's what I was trying to get at without saying. Well, I got it, okay. I was trying to be polite. You're not the first person to tell me I'm a tuggo. And then I would say a good dose of super draw pre-workout. Oh my God, super draw is like my jam. Yeah. It like clears up the skin too. It does. <laughs> Things that were never said. <laughs> said nobody ever. This is getting pulled from YouTube and 
You guys are going to look really funny. What's wrong with no draw? Oh, out of context. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Shit, we in context, baby. 2024, we got all kinds of genders, man. Our genders got genders. Don't pull away, Scott, the video guy. I'm still talking. <laughs> Just about one second down there and then come up. Perfect. And on the last one, we'll take our real sweet top. Great. Slow. I know, I know, I know. You're the man. You're doing everything right. Milk it. Milk that shit. Finish. And then slow. As if another. Oh, shit, yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Three, two, one. Beautiful. It's not... Dude, you didn't do a single plot. I know, it's fucked. <laughs> Feel empty. <laughs> you not doing a fly is crazy. It's crazy. It's the first time I've ever seen you do a climb barbell bench, or even any sort of sort of barbell bench. How'd it look? Good. good. Really good. Good. I mean, I said you cooked. Cooked. Yeah. No, it's different. I mean, I think one thing I'll always tell you guys: getting out of your comfort zone is a really good thing within reason. Obviously, still being safe with it, but like, I know I'm gonna get a different type of soreness training like this today than my normal workout because not to say I don't push myself but it's just that novel stimulus of doing something you're not used to quite doing every single time it's going to give you a different type of stimulus it's going to drive a different type of hypertrophy so I always suggest if you have somebody that's really good at what they do especially if it's within the realm of what you're trying to achieve definitely open up and be you know obviously open-minded to trying their type of training at least for a day or two to learn something if nothing else I feel like when I push my feet forward, I keep my body more upright. Yep. Keep more impetus in the tricep. Yep. More, yep. More we got a whole video on that. Yeah. One more good one. <sighs> Hit it. Good, man. Up, 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 and then down Control. slow. Control. As if another. Control. Control. And right Wait for up. it. Wait. <sighs> Rack. Right yeah. into push-ups, right off those red blocks. Yep, show us that real Eric Janicki depth. Come on. Come yep, on, one more. Yeah. Look it up. <sighs> Full lockout this time. I know. Look it up, look it up, look it up. Finish. <laughs> That's good. Back it up. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, over here. Go. Put Stalin. Let's go. Close, grip. How close? Right there, right it's great. There, perfect. All the way down. <sighs> Off to lockout. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. <sighs> Finish. JK, to the knees. Rest a little bit. Rest a little bit. Right off the knees, knee push-ups. Okay. Let's go. Good stuff, my man. Yes. Control. Come on. Come on. Good shit. Finish. Jerk. <laughs> That's it. Dude. Just roll out of it. Talk that shit now, Eric. You little bitch. <laughs> Victory! Please don't recover later and beat my ass. I mean, I know I have it coming, so do it, but be gentle. Be just. Dude, that was fucking awesome. I was kind of like, oh, maybe I'll get ten of each of the huh? subsequent. Yes! <laughs> three and a half. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, the total of all three of those sets. <laughs> maybe it was like, ten. Yeah. It was like three clean reps. All right, got absolutely humbled there, boys. But uh, such a fun workout. Thank you guys again so much for putting me through that. It's always a blast. And I think... It's so fun to be, and I was telling Jared this earlier off camera, that I think they've done a better job than anybody at a large level of educating people on really how to train effectively and safely and with longevity. And I think it's a lot of people have been doing it, but they've done it the best at explaining it and having the most amount of people be able to understand it at a high level. So definitely recommend going and subscribe to these guys. Also, one thing we were just mentioning is like this workout was hard as fuck, but it was only like 90 minutes. And that was with like, you know, some camera setup and everything. So, yes, in between. Yes, yeah, so we could probably have gotten that done in like 75, 80 minutes. And I think that's a big misconception that you need to be training for two hours, two and a half hours. Like, you can be a busy working professional and still get four really hard workouts.
for 60, 70 minutes with good range of motion, with good time under tension, with pushing yourself close to those progressive failures within that one to three reps of true failure, and that's when you're gonna really see those results. So thank you guys again. Do you guys have any recap from this workout you guys want to give to my first subscribers? You're, you're fucking awesome. You're amazing. Thank you for the awesome endorsement as well. Yeah. It was great. You train harder, better, and with more range of motion than I ever have in my life, so. Yeah, we look up to you, man, legit. And <laughs> I think that you got a lot of followers. You're, you're headed for way more. You're gonna do a lot of damage in the sport. You're carrying the flag for scientific training now. It's all you. All of us died in the last battle. It's just you at this point, <laughs> fighting yeah, the well, bad, well, 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 bad yeah. range of motion. It's like Godzilla. I almost got there. I got my pro card and I got shot with an arrow right before yeah. the gates. Just yeah, like yeah. You're the one right into the temple <laughs> to kill the half-rep <laughs> goddess or whatever. Cut her fucking head off. <laughs> that whole shit. This is going to be a big-ass year, though. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. going to be fun. Hopefully, you guys will see me in some pro shows. Oh, you'll be turning in the year. I'm excited for you, man. So you guys follow this guy's journey. Coming up from Classic to Open, Jared's going to do some damage. I got a lot of fucking size to put on, obviously. <laughs> the structure, though. Yeah, there's your daddy. So ridiculous. Yeah. As always, subscribe to the channel, like, comment below if you want to see more of me and the crew together collabing on some stuff. Hell yeah. Do.